Hey, what's up, guys? You guys are hanging out with me right now. I'm just chilling, reading uh, some stuff going on, and I got some something interesting to talk to you guys about. Um, so Samsung is beta testing a new UI. Okay, it is a it is a variant of TouchWiz, given a different name, and it's being tested in Korea and in China only right now. And uh, I thought it was kind of you know kind of cool, so I decided to read the article and see exactly what's happening here. And when I read it, I was like, you know, I wonder how people think. So I wanted to make this video to see what you guys think about it. Now, what it pertains to is something that I've talked about in the past when that whole, you know, Android N rumor that they were getting rid of the app drawer. Um, when it turned out to be that it was LG and the G5 that was going to have no app drawer. You know, people's perception of it was like hit or miss. I mean, some people liked it. Some people didn't. Uh, when the G5 came out had a LG Home UX 5.0 was just like no app drawer. Um, I think enough people were pissed off that it didn't have an app drawer because an LG came back, I think it was like three weeks later, and released LG Home and app drawer as an, you know, an update to UX 5.0. For me personally, it wasn't a big deal that I didn't have an app drawer. I, I, honestly, it made things a lot easier. And I didn't have that feeling like I was using something that was iOS, you know, I think that's what sometimes people get a little bit too They pay they pay attention to too much of the details like the nitty-gritties uh, or, or they feel weird, but I think you know personally when it comes to phones like people use what they want to use and like what they want to like um, To each his own. That's like my favorite thing to say to people is to each their own But uh, yeah, enough, enough people complain. So LG dropped uh, the uh, LG Home and App Drawer addition to UX 5.0. On a quick note, um, there was a comment on one of my videos, and it stated that LG has always had the uh, no app drawer. It was, it's called LG Easy or LG Easy Home. I beg to differ. The LG Easy mode is just like, you know, for someone that's not wanting to customize their, their home displays, you know, Everything is just set so it's easy to use. And that's completely different than having no app drawer. The original LG Home 5.0 has no app drawer. So when you download an app on your home display, now while they may be very similar in that sense, they're not. You just have to play with it to kind of see the minor differences between them. But it's not the same thing, and you really can't call it the same thing. So, But moving on. So anyway, so Samsung has what's called Note UI. And it's being tested on the Galaxy Note 5 in Korea and in China. And with it being called Note UI, it kind of tells me already that if they decide to go with this, this is something that I feel is going to be launched on the Galaxy Note 7, which is due to launch very soon. Um, you know, some people are probably tripped out because they're waiting for the Note 6. And of course, Samsung announced that there's not going to be a Note 6 because they don't want the generations between the, the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy S to be off. So they just jumped to Galaxy Note 7. So this year we got the S7, the S7 Edge, and the Note 7. So it's all going to be 7, 777. Seven, seven. I guess that's kind of like also like Samsung is kind of hoping for luck in this. So 777, seven, lucky numbers, triple. Um, but anyways, yeah, there's, there's no app drawer. I mean, like, there's not really much of a significant change. I'll link it in the description, the article that I read. There's not a big change as far as, like, looking at it and saying, is it TouchWiz or is it not TouchWiz? I mean, it's very, you can tell it's TouchWiz. Uh, but it being called Note UI, having no app drawer, and also the notification shade with the quick settings has been changed. The, normally, the quick settings was, like, a horizontal scroll. They've done away with that, so it's going to be like right there in plain view, no horizontal scrolling to access other things in quick settings on the notification shade. Uh, it's just going to be all right there. Um, you guys will see. Just click the link and uh, read the article from Android Police, and you guys will see like the photos of it, of what they got so far. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, as far as having no app drawer, I'm, I'm cool with it, you know. It doesn't bother me to have an app drawer or not have an app drawer, so... Really, uh, it's to each their own. But anyways, guys, so I just want to share that with you guys, your thoughts about it. And uh, if this UI is something that is more likable, do you guys think that Samsung will put out an update 
to update other phones previously released this year to get the uh, Note UI. Who knows? Anyways, that's it. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. I'll see you all later.